my little box of treasures from my last lark. I have a turquoise beads and I have this interesting stopper. And the interesting thing about this is, apart from the writing on the top, is that it's got like a noble edge. Do you see it? You know, like those hobnail poison bottles you get. Um, they're nice. We've got bits of doll's heads, got a complete neck here. Off the chubby cheeked face. Um, got a more complete one there. Uh, very red lips and teeth. And this one is missing the other side of his face. Uh, another half and more chubby cheeks. And I've got this piece which is. Unusual, I don't know quite what's going on here. Um, not sure. Definitely a piece of doll. Well, what do you think? which I rather like because she has a hat on and some really awesome hair do. Um, what else? Oh, lots of pipes. Lots of pipes, some of which are quite interesting. They have TW in it and there is a controversy hanging over TW at the moment. It's quite interesting. Um, as far as I'm aware, they're Christy pipes. Um, one of these actually has Christy on it. And this is a tenant pipe with DW. And at least 12 makers, as far as I'm aware, made TW pipes. Yeah, we have another basket one, similar to the last, although it's a bit shorter and not so much detail in the bottom. Just some fluorinated stuff. Half a clay marble. Um, some of the usual vulcanite stoppers from the area I'm digging in. We have some glass stoppers. Oh, that's a pipe. Another head. Looks similar to a doll's head, but I think it's actually figurine doll. Um, figurine head. Um, some tiny bits of pottery. There we are. And these are the interesting pipe stems. The top one has W. Christie on it um, and teeth marks at the end. But just let me pick it up and I'll show you. There you go, teeth marks. And I don't think you're going to see the Christie, but it is there. William Christie, no less. Nope, we're not going to see that in this light. Um, if you see this one, there you go, Christy. And that's the reason I'll put these together. So, this was the oddest thing. Um, it's actually oh, the middle of a little person and at the top here we have 
Oh, he's upside down now, but this is a retractable neck. So I'm going to say he's been one of these modern Mandarin type figures. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, it looks like a pumpkin. By the time I got it home, I realised it was some kind of little figure um, with a retractable neck. But the retractable neck was actually inside. So, I don't know if you'll see it up in there. But it does retract. I have one of these um, tiles. There's the faces again, so I'm going to go down to the next bit, which is some of the smaller... Oh, and there's a nice turquoise bead. I'm going to go down here now, and we have eight of the ten ink wells that I found. Now this piece here... Eight of the ten ink wells. We have this cabochon, which is teal in colour and goes rather nicely on top of the ink wells. So I'll be keeping my eye out for more of those to finish the ink wells off. And if you look at this piece, there's lots and lots of characters on it. So I thought I would take that and cut it down. Um, a base, which has a rather strange mythological creature on it, which I thought was rather nice, so I took that. We have Ding Dong Bell Pussies in the Well here. And we have a member of the royal family on this piece. Um, we have a little dog, um, he's quite light, so possibly born China. We have a few bovrils. Uh, I haven't cleaned up the stoneware yet, but I have made a start on the milk glass, and this is really quite transparent. Um, it's very thin milk glass. The teeniest tiniest little stone where that I've seen. If I put my thumb to the side you'll see how small it is. And on the same day um, I'll add a photograph at the end I found the largest master ink that I've ever found. I don't usually take big bottles because I like to fit everything in small boxes. And I found this and I thought that's rather nice. Lovely colour and lovely shape. So, nice bottle and it came home oh. with me. So, at the back here on what I call an Orkney chair, Orkney chair handmade in Orkney of course, um, is that master ink I was telling you about. And underneath that we have um, a TW pipe and a rather gorgeous hand pipe and two, yes two, further blue ink wells. So please well those finds. Um, I don't tend to find, uh, I don't tend to film at the dump anymore. Um, I prefer just to do the roundups. Um, there you go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed seeing the finds. Oh, and there's a Valentine's meat juice as well. Okay, so I think I might leave you with these little ones here. I'll maybe slightly back and... There we are. Yeah. That'll do nicely. Okay, bye-bye.